Hey guys and welcome back. Last week we spent that day exploring around the Kununurra area. We went to a billabong that had amazing wildlife and then took a four wheel drive track out to Spring Creek which is a secret local spot. We're just setting up camp here at Lake Argyle. This week we spent a few days camped at Lake Argyle with the famous infinity pool and then cruised the lake itself. Ready? I'm Matt and this is Holly. We've been travelling around Australia for the past 12 months in our old Toyotas, going to some of the most incredible locations. Subscribe and join the adventure. Kununurra is the closest town to Lake Argyle. It's only a 70 kilometre drive. The lake itself is 21 times the size of Sydney Harbour, which means it's about 62 kilometres in length and 40 kilometres wide. So yeah, we've just pulled into Lake Argyle Caravan Park. We are staying in a caravan park just because there's nowhere else to stay down here, except for the caravan park. Man, we've heard it's pretty cool here as well, so. Yeah, hopefully it'll be pretty nice. We're following old mate here <laughs> on a bike to our camp spot. Hopefully it's all right. What's going on, Ho? We're just setting up camp here at Lake Argyle. Um, yeah, it's pretty nice looking so far. We haven't really done any exploring or anything yet. Just set up camp, had a huge issues getting the pegs in. Well, Matt couldn't get We didn't get them in. <laughs> um, we need some super pegs. We do need some super pegs, which we'll hopefully be getting. Mm. Also, I just quickly wanted to say how good a day we had today. How good was it? It was very good. Um, yeah, we did a lot. We went... We were down near like Bungle Bungles. Yeah, bungle, of... we had an awesome camp spot last night and then we... Cool. Drove up to Kununurra, went to the grotto. Yeah, had that billabong with all those birds, that was really cool. And then... Forward drive track to the spring. Yeah, that was pretty cool. And then, it was a cool forward drive track, and then the spring was awesome. Yeah, it was mm. a bloody good day. One of those days you're just like, oh, this is really cool. <laughs> yeah, this is living. And now we're at Lake Argyle. It's a pretty epic camp spot. Yeah, it's pretty cool. We'll obviously show you tomorrow where we are and what we're doing and what it looks like. But yeah, really cool. Really cool day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we've had such a long day and we're so tired and sun tired anyways and we're just like okay we'll just have a nice soup for dinner and just finish off our soup just like boiled it up and just try to eat it it's like sour it's just it's so off <laughs> dinner this evening will be sandwiches with the bread that we we're going to have with the soup living the life <laughs> how rotten do you reckon the soup really is <laughs> What do you mean? It's fine. We can really smell it now. I don't know. Well, I, I ate some. I ate some rotten soup. Good afternoon, everyone. We haven't done any filming this morning, um, but we are at Lake Argyle. As you know, we've had a pretty relaxing morning. Uh, cool. Yeah. It's quite uh, lovely. Freezing infinity pool. Yes, we've looked in for can. a sunset tour tomorrow on the boat. So. Yeah. Do that. Also, super windy here last night, so we pulled the awning in and got it this mm -hmm. morning. And a heaps of people had also pulled their awnings in, so not sure if it was like a freak thing, um, but I guess we'll find out again tonight if the wind picks up. Um, we're just having some lunch now. What are you rustling up? Um, salmon and cream cheese on bagels that are toasted with capers and cracked salt and pepper. Matt's can cooking, so. It's Matt! It's Matt's Camp Cooking Show. So the half-eaten finished product. Delicious. <laughs> yum. Yum, yum, yum. And car sales going through cars. <laughs> Mindlessly. Or am I? <laughs> we did a little workout and now we're going to go back to the pool and watch sunset over the lake. Should be pretty nice. Get that. 
quintessential Lake Argyle infinity pool shot. And everyone does on their trip around Australia. Yeah. Gotta get it. My daddy got so down, he wondered what he'd done so wrong. For the Lord to endow him with two kids instead of one. <laughs> so as he held the knife to the one on the right, took a breath to cut it off. He met a girl who would change his world and make him proud of what he's got. Multi muff Melissa took the knife out of his hands. When she kissed him, Derek felt a stirring in his pants. Now I challenge you to find a more romantic scenario than the image of a double dick right there in a double hole. And I'm singing, oh, oh, oh double dick Derek. Sing it with me. We're singing, oh. And so concludes my little song about the boy with the double dog. It's double dick, Derek. Morning. What are we doing today? Today we are just going to go for a little walk down to Lake, or oh, not to Lake Argyle. Uh, then we're going to go and do a tour, a sunset cruise. So we're just going for a little bit of a walk. Um, just at the top of the caravan park here. A few little facts about Lake Argyle. So Lake Ar Argyle was made when they dammed the Ord River. Um, and it's one of the largest uh, bodies of fresh water in the southern hemisphere. Now, originally they were going to use it for irrigation, for actually for rice crops. But <laughs> they planted the rice. Magpie geese and heaps of water bird, which are native to the Kimberley, ended up eating the rice shoots faster than they could plant them. Anyways, so this body of water is like 21 times the size of Sydney Harbour. Like, it's huge. It's just all the water from the wet season. Anyway, so now it's home to, I mean, like 30,000 freshwater crocodiles and heaps of water birds and all that kind of stuff. But they say it's one of the most underutilized lakes uh, in Australia because they don't really do anything with it. So it's crazy. I mean, they use it for a little bit of irrigation now, but yeah, I find that really interesting. I mean, hydroelectric and anything like that, I suppose. I mean, it's a lot of money, but uh, it's a lot of water. You could use it elsewhere, that's for sure. Anyways, interesting facts. Another flower for your book? Another flower for my book. So I'm, um, me and my sisters, probably my brothers as well, we used to flat press flowers with my nanny. Um, you just get tissues, put them in a book, press them, and then you come back and yeah, have the flower. You've got a couple of natives, don't yeah, you? Yeah, we've got some of the desert peas, mula mula, and now this one. Don't know what this is, is. don't know what this is yet. But, but they're I'm, everywhere, eh? Yeah, they're do really pretty. Research. They are really pretty. Everyone's vacated, it's just us. Well, not really, but... Yeah, I got skills. Ow, I hit my toe. <laughs> I heard that. Oh my god, it's windy now. <laughs> Matt went a bit psycho oh, at the... Wow. What's it called? The scoop and weigh section? When Try do you to... not go wild at the scoop and weigh? <laughs> Put him through his bloody... Unsalted peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't do no, that. I didn't actually, steal from Coles. They're actually the coolest. Um, we've had a pretty good morning. We went for a little walk this morning. Sat down and did some work. We've had a couple of people come up and recognise this. So I had a bit of a chat to them. Yeah, it's always nice when people come up. Yes, yeah. So if you ever see us, do come and um, say, say good day. We like Yeah, we do. Um, we won't bite your heads off. We're nice people. Um, yes. Yeah, Hey everyone, so this afternoon we've got something pretty exciting. We're going on a cruise uh, over Lake Argyle. It's a sunset cruise. Uh, complimentary drinks and you go for a swim and a bit of a cheese putter, something like that. 
So yeah, I heard it's pretty good. Keen to see how big this lake actually is. What do you reckon, Holm? Yeah, it'll be cool to see it. Um, it'll be really cool to see it from being on the lake rather than a vantage point we have up here. Yeah, so it goes for a couple of hours, four hours. So should be a good time. Guess it'll be roll of that. All right, we're all geared up. Let's see why they call this uh, the jewel of the Kimberley. Oh, this is our boat we're getting on, the Kimberley Dura. If anyone knows me, they see me drinking this. It's the only reason it's free. I'm still <laughs> still hating myself for doing it. I absolutely hate great right normal. But yeah, it's really nice. Been a cool cruise. Um, obviously tailored more to all the people, but it's been nice. So, yeah. no, it's been good. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Put them on. Yeah. Yeah. Look, they're legends. They have a 2,000 hearts, just like mine. So there's the turbo diesel. So I mean, it's not the real, not the real man part. <laughs> so, what are your names and what's your story? <laughs> Follow Maureen. Yeah. We're just on holiday. <laughs> We're just on holiday. Uh, on holiday. Just on holiday. Cruise around the old Lux, just like, just like we are. So the old they're towing as well. So come on. Love it. Anyways, 
couple more, couple more beers. In. <laughs> Just got a sticker. He's gonna wear that with pride on his luck. So <laughs> happy about that. Uh, oh, where are we going? In next week's episode, we leave Lake Argyle, but not before we check out the famous dam wall and the old homestead. Uh, this morning we're packed up, we are leaving Lake Argyle. Here with Paul Maureen, and they're just getting it done in their old highlights as well. <laughs> See you in NT. Oh, here we are, just in Catherine. We make it to Catherine and the Hot Springs and have another date at the Mechanics. If you've liked the music at the end of this episode, it's by our friend Karen Page, who we also met on the road. She is on Spotify and iTunes and she has recently released a new album. We will link her website down in the description as well. Cheers guys, see you next week. <laughs>